Welcome to Monday's Guided Meditations with Amy Bemel's Wild. <laughs> I love words. With Amy Bemel Wildings, Wild and Wise. This week, our guided meditation is on unlearning. So we're going to begin with the passage that comes before the guided meditation, and then we're just going to dive straight in. So get comfortable. I highly recommend having a writing utensil and something to write on, because we will be taking notes in this guided meditation. All right. Holding the intention that we're all cozy, we will begin. Unlearning. Much like the programming of a computer, our experience as Western women of the 21st century is very much encoded in our society, from our language to our government to our jobs, the cultural hierarchy that perpetuates the usurping of women's power is ubiquitous, so much so that we often cannot see the forest from the trees. We have been assimilated by patriarchy to the point that we may not know where it ends and we begin. By awakening to the wild and wise process of unlearning, we relinquish the power of patriarchy to define our value and reclaim our ability to connect with our innate, sacred, feminine power. The meditation. Take a deep breath in and exhale fully, inviting relaxation into every cell of your body. Feel yourself held and supported, knowing that this journey is safe and that you are supported by the sisterhood of women who have walked this path ahead of you. Like you, we heard the call of the sacred feminine and our spirits have responded to that call with an undeniable yes. But the path isn't without obstacles and we sometimes feel disconnected from our divinity despite our deep longing for evolution. Instead of hearing the affirmations of our sacred selves, we still hear the negative feedback loop that many of us have heard for as long as we can remember. I invite you now to take a moment to write down some of those negative messages that you hear. Messages that are so deeply learned that they feel like they are a part of you. These are the messages that start with, I cannot, I do not know how to, I am not, I should not, once you have written down as many as you can think of, place them in front of you and settle in with closed eyes once again. Feel free to pause the video and then press play when you're ready to continue. And we'll begin our journey back, connecting to the time before you learned that your whole person was being judged based on your physical appearance. Back before you were told that you can't trust your body or your instincts, before you learned that your value as a person is based on being sexually attractive to men, go back. Before you learned that bleeding is shameful and dirty, before you learned that being good means not speaking your truth or having healthy boundaries. Before you learned to disconnect from the fact that you have a monthly cycle. Before you learned that other women are your enemy. Before you were taught that you are not enough and never will be. Before you were taught that you are failing as a mother and failing as a woman if you are not a mother. Back before this time, 
of the shamed feminine. There was the era of the sacred feminine. It was a time of women's wisdom and women's power. We were holy, we were whole. Women were taught by their mothers and their mother's mothers to stand in their power, and they were neither controlled nor dominated. Women passed their wisdom down to one another and lived cooperatively rather than competitively, and quite naturally had an equal voice in what happened in their world. But gradually, between then and now, there was a great shift. A cultural rewrite took place. Instead of being revered, women were taught that they were inherently flawed. Women's bodies, once honored, were instead said to be incapable, and the gift of their life-giving cycle became a curse. Women learned to hide it, to stop it, to fear it. Even birth was something women could no longer be trusted to do without male oversight. Women's connection to the divine, once a source of deep meaning and power, became evil and taboo. The wise women were discredited as hysterical lunatics, as wild witches. Those who tried to keep their wisdom alive were burned at the stake. Women heard songs of their domination and stories were told from the time they were babies to teach them that their only hope for salvation of true happiness was the love and approval of a man. The messages were inescapable so much so that women internalized them. And when they became mothers, they taught their daughters this as their own truth. The books were scrubbed clean of stories of their ancestors' power, of the wisdom that is their birthright, and what was taught forevermore is called his story. And now, with so much time having passed, we no longer question what we are expected to learn. We don't even know what we don't know. But there is a part of us, the thread that still connects us to the wise women of our lineage. And she still knows. To find her, simply look at what you wrote down and ask yourself, are these my truths or just the script I was expected to learn during life? Are these my mother's truths and her mother's truths? Or are these nothing more than the programming that the women in my mother line learned? To believe. Open your eyes now. I invite you to begin the process of unlearning by taking your pen or pencil and striking through all of the negative messages you have learned and internalized about yourself. If you have written, I should not, mark out the not and read your new statement aloud. If you have written, I am not, cross out the not and affirm this new message to yourself. Continue this process until you have reprogrammed your internal dialogue. When you have finished, place your journal and pen aside and with another deep inhale and exhale, close your eyes once more. The strength and the wisdom, the reverence for the sacred feminine was at one time ours to claim. During the time before the beyond and with your revolutionary act of unlearning, you reclaim this once again in the here and now. Reaching within 
connecting to the brilliantly radiant sacred feminine seed that we all possess, we can affirm for ourselves the gifts of our lineage, self-worth, reverence, sisterhood, wisdom, and strength. With a deep inhale, offer yourself deep gratitude for initiating this practice of unlearning and commit to the process of reprogramming your inner language starting now. Gently begin to shift your awareness back to your body, back to this present moment. Move slowly and with ease as you return to the here and now. When you are ready, open your eyes. Welcome back. Here are some questions for deeper reflection. What cultural messages have you internalized about what it means to be a woman? In what ways are you currently preventing yourself from aligning with your truth? And what would it feel like to give yourself permission to rewrite your inner narrative? Have compassion and patience, my loves. Rewriting the inner merry-go-round can be easy as a snap or it can take time. But it's a practice in reclaiming our power. And we're doing it together. So thank you. Thank you for coming on this journey of unlearning with me. I love and appreciate each and every one of you so much. I hope you have a beautiful week leading up to the full moon in Libra. And I'll talk to you all soon. Till then, infinite love and blessings. Stay healthy and shine your light. Bye for now.